the people can't be defeated because you know that we can succeed it because you know policy's not what's needed by the U.S. government, by the Democratic or Republican. See me, I'm not support of it. Back in the day, see they must have thought of it. They had it planned out, so I'ma stand out to make some noise. We gotta straight race it. Uh, we out here, and you know we must embrace it. One another, see, I'm trying to discover all of my peoples. We can't support the evil. We out here. Life in the city, being at 14, it's, it's all right if you get if you know your surroundings, you know know how how it is around your streets, your neighborhood. Cause some places in the city, you know, you can't even walk around without being checked or be, or somebody stopping you, asking you questions that you don't want to be asked. Think about if I'm gonna get into any fights walking home because because of the surroundings, the gangs around, and uh, try to try to avoid that. Mind my own business when I walk home, but that's how it is. Right around fifth grade, I started realizing about all this stuff, you know. Started realizing that people were getting killed around here, you know, and I learned from from gangbangers. I didn't even know that were gangbangers. That I thought they were my friends. That I thought they were my friends, and they are my friends, you know. They just got caught up in the cr some crazy stuff. Got caught in the mess. I used to gangbang. It, it doesn't affect me no more, you know what I'm saying? Just because I see them gangbangers out there doing what they're doing doesn't mean that I'm gonna go and say and start gangbanging. I already been through that stuff, you know what I'm saying? I put it I put it in my mind that, you know what I'm saying, I don't wanna be out there doing what they're doing, selling drugs and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Sure, I'm gonna smoke drugs, but you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna be out there selling the gangbanging risk in my life, you know what I'm saying, over some stupid stuff that, you know what I'm saying, it ain't worth dying over. If you gangbang, you got Look out all the time. You got look, you know, because if you you can't even walk down the street without, you know, worrying about someone running up to you and beating your ass. Being a gangbang, you know, what I'm saying it was like, it was fun, you know, but it was fun. See, I was out there stealing cars and stuff, you know, what I'm saying selling drugs. But I never, you know what I'm saying, it was fun to me because, you know, what I'm saying I never got locked up for stealing cars or selling for selling drugs. Cause you know what I'm saying, I was young. The cops really didn't know that I was hanging out, you know what I'm saying? They see me on the block, but they ain't see me doing anything. Every time they stop me, you know what I'm saying? 
They were just telling me to go home and stuff. I shouldn't be out on the streets. If you slang rocks and stuff like that, you think you're making fast money, but you get locked up fast. And that's true, because my, my uncle, he's doing like 15 years just for having like a pistol on him and a couple of drugs on him. So ever since then, I haven't seen my uncle. And I really want to see him again, because he was my role model. And if it wasn't for him, I don't know. I guess I'd still be gangbanging. My uncle that I looked up to, like uh, my role model, you know what I'm saying, before he got locked, you know what I'm saying, he was a gangbanger. I'm saying he was always telling me not to gangbang, but you know what I'm saying, you know how it is with little kids, you know, in one ear and out the other, you know what I'm saying, but once he got locked up, I was like, there's nothing else out here for me, you know what I'm saying, I'll just hold my position, you know what I'm saying, I'll start gangbanging, you know what I'm saying, there ain't nothing out there anyways, you know what I'm saying, there ain't nothing out there good for me right now, except, you know what I'm saying, I'll just try out gangbanging. do many things that we like doing you know we we want to move beyond the streets you know we have our own dreams and we have we want a future we don't want to be chilling on a block for 15 years you know I want to be a person that drops out of school and not have an education so you know what I'm saying I'm starting to change but I realize that that ain't that ain't what I want so I got to change in order to be what I want I would like to play football in high school you know what I'm saying cuz I got like I got math skills in football. A lot of people tell me, you know what I'm saying, I got some talent, you know what I'm saying. I'm a running back, I'm small, I can take hits. Ready, set, go! If I got a whole day to myself, you know what I'm saying, I'm trying to find any, I'm trying to find a way to smoke all day, you know what I'm saying. I, I, like, to, I like to get high, you know what I'm saying. But you know what I'm saying, if I'm taking time out <clears throat> to play football and stuff, I'm like, I'm doing good for myself. I know that I want to be playing football and all through school. I'm saying I can't do it right now in middle school because uh, our school didn't have a team. But you know, in high school, they always got teams. You can't only rely on football. You know what I'm saying? You gotta pick some classes out that you want to fall back on in high school and stuff. You know what I'm saying? So in five years, I hope to be in high school playing football. You know. I love I, I like graffiti too. That I don't see nothing wrong with it. Unless, you know, you writing gangsta or stuff like that. That's a different story. But graffiti's not all about gangs. It's about passion too. The way you draw and everything. You get a lot of details, you could write your name. Most of people think that's just gang related, but not really. And if it's part of the culture too. If you like hip hop, if you like rap and all that. And if you spend your time doing it, someone just comes away and takes it from you, I don't think that's right. Because most people, that's part of the culture, and I don't think that's right. Someone you don't even know comes over here and erases your stuff. If it wasn't for art, I would probably be on the street every day smoking and hanging around with bad people. So graffiti is like best art for me. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go straight to college. I'm probably gonna think about it. I'm probably gonna. I probably need more time, you know, before I go to college to really decide what I want to be. But uh, I see myself DJing. <laughs> I spend, you know, hip hop. Spend a lot of hip hop house, you know. Try to stay, try to stay with the vibe. People, people like to listen to. I think music is a way to express your feelings, you know. I like, I like the fact that you could 
say a lot of things in music that are easier to say in music than in words itself, you know. We have we have programs at school, but those are some lame programs. You know, we don't want to be golfing. What golfing? Not like we got access to a golf field all the time. The school should, you know, do like some kind of survey or something, you know? Talk about what we like to do and and you know, sometimes I think about think about why where where did they come up with these programs and I think they just, you know, do it at their own, you know. They're not even thinking about how kids um how kids are gonna join it, you know. They don't they don't that's probably why most of all the after school programs had had closed because nobody wants to join them because they're not interested. Life is hard in the city. You get you really gotta worry about a lot of things. I I read a lot of books, I read the newspaper, I, you know, I'm tired of hearing about people getting shot over some gangs gang affiliated actions, you know. Find find another solution to solving your problems. Cause some people might turn to drugs and you you need you just need to find somebody to talk to. Find somebody who understands. You're watching Chicago Independent Television.